Hello, everyone. It is Mark Berman from TV Media Insights. It is Thursday, August 16th. I would like to welcome you back to our daily video cast. And let's begin today with Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? On this day in 1999 on ABC, the game show debuted. Regis Philbin was the host. It was an initial two week multi episode summer run. It did very well in the ratings, so ABC decided let's bring it back. And they did in early 2000. But ultimately, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire became the poster child of what not to do in prime time. The network initially brought it back a couple of times a week. It soared to the top of the ratings. They decided, let's expand it. So at one point, they were airing Millionaire five times per week. Regis Philbin proclaimed that he saved ABC. Well, guess what happened? Overkill. People got tired of it. The ratings plummeted. ABC pulled it from prime time. Millionaire does live on in daytime syndication, um, hosted by Meredith Vieira. It is entering its 11th season, and it is a modest performer that could last for years into the future. But the moral of the story is when you have a hit show in primetime, do not overexpose it. Happy 13th birthday to who wants to be a millionaire. Technically, it's its bar mitzvah. This should be a big party today, Regis. Now let's go to Michael J. Fox. Michael J. Fox, of course, is a beloved star. He appeared for seven seasons on Family Ties. He headlined Spin City for four of the six seasons. He did several theatrical movies, including Back to the Future, and he is poised for a sitcom comeback. Apparently, there is a project in the works from Sony Pictures Television. I do not know what the premise is, but Fox will headline it. There is reported interest at the major networks, and it is slated for 2013. Now, Fox, of course, exited Spin City after the fourth season. He was dealing with his um, Parkinson's disease. Of course, he's still dealing with that, but he's ready for a comeback. So let's hope this happens. Let's now go to True TV. If you are a fan of their Hardcore Pawn franchise, there is a new edition coming out in 2013, and it will be themed Hardcore Pawn Chicago. I don't watch it, but apparently this does very well among the target male viewers on True TV. Let's now go to Rizzolian Isles on TNT. It concluded its summer run this past Tuesday with a season high 6 million viewers. This is not a record high for the crime solver, but it's a very solid number. TNT is having a spectacular summer season. They are poised for momentum in the traditional season, and Rizzolian Isles, of course, will be back. Now let's go to Gene Simmons' Family Jewels on A&E. Way back when, this docuseries debuted on a and in 2006, at a time when the cable network was really grasping, who are they? What is, their, what, you know, what is their audience? Who are they going after? Well, they put this on. It did very well for them. It lasted seven seasons. The cable network has announced that Gene Simmons' Family Jewels will not be returning in 2013. I've watched it off and on over the years, and I've actually met Gene Simmons several years ago when I was working at Media Week. I actually sat down with Gene for a video interview which I have to tell you was not easy to do. It was more of like an infomercial. He was sitting there hawking his products. I kept trying to get him back to the interview, but I'm glad I did it. And um, Gene Simmons' family jewels will bid adieu. Let's now go to the CW. I give the network credit. They have tried to attract an audience with original programming this summer. Their first three series, or actually their first two, have not worked. They have not seen the numbers yet for OSIT, which premiered last night. I'm not expecting much, so let's see what happens. Well, tonight comes the debut of a new singing competition, just what we need, another singing competition. It is called The Next Fame is at Your Doorstep. It will feature Gloria Estefan, Joe Jonas, Nelly, and John Rich traveling around the country looking for new singing talent. You know, the amazing thing about these singing competitions is there are so many people out there that can sing, or at least they think they can. Where do these people come from? But that's debuting tonight on the CW, and I'm hoping it, it attracts an audience for them. The network is having a really tough time. And that is our daily video cast from TV Media Insights. I want to thank you for joining me on this 16th day of August. I am Mark Berman, and I'll be back with more news about my favorite medium, television, tomorrow. Have a great day.